Welcome to our Wicus Tech Tip. Today, we will show you how to insert a bandsaw blade into a machine if required. The classic reasons are, the blade has reached the end of its lifetime. There is a change in the type of material to be cut. At each change of the bandsaw blade, we recommend cleaning the lateral guiding elements, the pre-twisting roll, as well as the machine body. Please note that the bandsaw blade shall be inserted with tooth protection because this minimizes the risk of injury to your employees as well as damage to the bandsaw blade. In order to set the chip brush optimally, we recommend starting the machine running for a short time in order to achieve the correct positioning of the bandsaw blade on the traversing wheels. At each change of the bandsaw blade, we recommend checking the condition of the setting of the chip brush. Please ensure the correct positioning of the bandsaw blade between the lateral guiding elements. After having set the chip brush, the distance between the back of the band and the wheel collar can be checked. The distance between the back of the bandsaw blade and the wheel collar should be between 1 and 2 millimeters. After having inserted the bandsaw blade, please pay attention to the correct band tension. It varies according to the machine type, blade type, and material to be cut. Depending on the machine, the insertion of the bandsaw blade may deviate from what we have shown you today. Your advantages are summarized as follows. Minimizing the risk of personal injury and damage to the blade. Avoidance of bandsaw blade breakage and vibration. Increasing the lifespan of the blade. This was our tech tip for inserting a bandsaw blade into a machine saw. You will find further tech tips on our Wicus YouTube channel.